All righty, trig lecture 12-1 and 12-2, 21. Student will use reciprocal relationships, which we talked about way back in when we first ran into trigonometric ratios. The reciprocal relationships, we're going to use all students take calculus, ASTC, the unit circle, and special case triangles to evaluate trig functions for given values of theta. Okay, so we're going to be given a value of theta, and we're going to determine the value of the trig function. Uh, and we're going to remember in doing that, if we run into radical 3 over 3, that's the same thing as 1 over radical 3, so that within the context of a 30-60 right triangle, we see this, we think this. And likewise, in the context of a 45-45 right triangle, one of the special case triangles, if we run into radical 2 over 2, we think 1 over radical 2. Uh, here are reciprocal relationships that we learned way back when we first talked about trigonometric ratios. The sine is the reciprocal of the cosecant. That means if you flip it over, you know, if you flip this over, you get this. The cosine is the reciprocal of secant, and the tangent is the reciprocal of cotangent. And what that means within the context of what we're doing today is if a, wherever the sine is positive, whichever quadrant the sine is positive in, the cosine, cosecant is also positive. Likewise, wherever the cosine is positive, whatever quadrant the cosine is positive in, so is secant. And if the tangent is positive in a given quadrant, so is the cotangent. We're going to be thinking along those lines, and here we go. Uh, we're asked to find the secant of theta given this angle of rotation as theta. So I'm looking for the secant of negative 240 degrees. I'm thinking, well, I'm in quadrant two. All students take calculus. That means everything's positive here. The sine and its reciprocal are positive here. So I'm thinking cosine is the reciprocal of secant. Cosine is negative here, so so is secant. So I know that the secant of, in this case, the rotation is negative 240 degrees, is going to be negative. Now I just want to find this reference angle right here, and then use my special case triangles or unit circle or whatever I'm looking for. Well, if this is and a rotation of negative 240. This is negative 180. If I go to 240, I've gone 60 degrees more. So my reference angle, reference angles are ne never negative. This rotation is negative, but this reference angle is positive 60 degrees. That's our reference angle, so I appeal to a 30-60 right triangle. 30, 60, right, this is one, two, radical three. And I'm looking for the quadrants in which the secant, or the cosine in this case, is uh, negative. So I could be in quadrant three, uh, two or in quadrant three. I can't be in these two quadrants because that's where the cosine and the secant are positive. And since this is negative rotation, theta could be, uh, let's see, My value, rather, would be the, the, the cosine of the secant of 60 degrees. Well, the cosine of 60 degrees is 1 over 2. Therefore, the secant of 60 degrees is 2 over 1. And it's negative because I'm in quadrant 2. So let's see if I got that one right, or see if I need to start this whole thing over again. No one. Negative 2. Yay! Mercy, I got stuck there for a second. I thought I was doing angles of rotation. Thought I was looking for more than one answer. So we found uh, that the value is 2, and it's negative because we're in quadrant 2, where only the sine and its reciprocal cosecant are negative. Therefore, the cosine and secant are negative. And it had to be 2 because my 240 degree, negative 240 degree rotation has a reference angle of 60. From a perspective of 60 degrees in the special case triangle, the secant is the reciprocal of the cosine. So it will be, instead of being adjacent over hypotenuse, it'd be hypotenuse over adjacent. And it would be negative because we're in quadrant two. Yay! Let's do another one. Cosecant. Oh, so I'm thinking, well, cosecant is the reciprocal of the sine function. 
I'm going to be in quadrant one, so I know my answer is going to be positive. So I'm going to say, well, the sine of 750 degrees is going to be positive, and I just want to know positive what? So I'm going to find my reference angle. Well, here we go. This is 360, 720. If I go to 750, that gives me a reference angle of 30 degrees. So sine of 750 degrees is in quadrant one, so my answer is going to be positive. My reference angle is 30 degrees, so I go to 30 degrees. One, two, radical three. And I take the secant, or the cosecant, of 30 degrees, which is uh, the sine of 30 degrees is 1 over 2, so the cosecant will be 2 over 1. And again, our answer is 2. And because it's in quadrant 1, it's going to be positive 2. The sine of 750 degrees is positive 2, unless I've made some horrible mistake. Let's take a look and see. 2. Okay. All right, let's take a look at another one. We're looking at cotangent. I'm thinking to myself, well, it's the reciprocal of tangent. I'm in, hey, I'm going to have to use the unit circle. So here we go. I'm going to draw the unit circle. It's a horrible unit circle. Over 1, up 0. Over 0, up 1. Left 1, up 0. Over 0, down 1. My radius in each case is 1, because it's a unit circle. That's what unit circle means. These are x and y values. So I've got x, y, and r. x, y, r. x, y, r, and x, y, and r. And this is meaningless without this. Remember that the horizontal is x, the vertical is y, making the hypotenuse r, and we have to slap theta right here. And now I'm looking for the cotangent. Well, the tangent is defined as adjacent, or opposite over adjacent, so the cotangent would be adjacent over opposite. You flip it over. So I'm looking for x over y, and it's going to be right here, right here. And I ask myself, at this point, what is x over y? Well, that's 0 over 1. So therefore, the cotangent of six, negative 630 degrees is uh, 0 over 1, which is 0. And hopefully I haven't botched it. I don't think I have. Let's take a look. Zero, yay! Special case triangle and unit circle is what we use. We use the unit circle because we stopped on the axis. We didn't have a reference angle, so to speak, because we had a quadrantal angle. That's when we use the unit circle. So here we go, last one. Cotangent, I'm thinking tangent. Okay. I'm in quadrant three. So I know my answer is going to be positive. I'm going to say the cotangent of, in this case, my rotation is negative 855 degrees. That's theta. It's going to be positive, and I just need to figure out what this reference angle is. Well, here's 360, 720, 810. If I go to 855 in a negative direction, that gives me this angle had to be 45. Therefore, my reference angle has to be 45. If my reference angle is 45 degrees, and I'm in quadrant three, my answer is going to be positive. And the tangent of 45 degrees is 
opposite over adjacent, so the cotangent would be adjacent over opposite, which is still 1. So the cotangent of negative 850 degrees would be 1. And let's see if that's right. Do -do -do, yay, 1. There we go. We're going to use the stuff that we've used in the past, and we're going to just use it a little bit differently. When I was doing this one, I got stuck doing with what we've done in the past, and I was thinking, what the heck am I doing? I was looking for two, and I only needed one. I didn't need to cross out these. I was just trying to find the secant of negative 240 degrees. And so since I'm in quadrant two here, the secant would be negative because cosine is negative here, and so therefore so is secant. Sorry about that little mess up there, but this is Evaluate, we're, we're going to be using reciprocal relationships and all this stuff to evaluate trig functions for given values of theta. You can do this. Just ask me to help you in class and I'll be happy to.